Alright. You wobble. Siren. This is a weird one, folks. He's on the ground. Oh, he beat him! <laughs> oh, the siren makes uh, us boxing junkies the things we endure for our boxing high. Oh, man, here it is. Okay, now we get this, this camera angle. Okay. Oh, there's the camera angle. Uh, Fucker bit him. I wonder David Price. I, I I was wondering why David. Do David Price? You're gonna get. You're gonna get fucking uh, disqualified because he was hitting him while he was on the ground. He bit him. David Price. Uh, they're still talking. They're still talking shit. This is a double RT boxing show. This is the double RT box. Yeah, this is a crazy. For all that shit talking Cash was doing, he ends up biting him on the ground. Tackling him on the ground to bite him. <laughs> he's pushing he's pushing Cash Ali away from the, the victory thrones. He, he's like, get out of here. Get out of here. It's weird. It's weird, man, because... Price was looking tired. He, he did wobble him with that right hand, though, but it was coming. We all saw Price was getting winded. This is weird. This is weird. Yeah, David Ali was got. I mean, David Ali. Um, Cash Ali. The fight was going his way. For once, for that one round, uh oh. Security rushed, left the ring pretty quick. Some. Oh wow, they said he's mixing because the security left the ring quick. They they they, they rushed the crowd. That was the talk. That that if. If you get David Price past four rounds, you have a chance he'll start gassing out. And it was coming. He was gassing. Um, he landed one good right hand to save that little fifth round. And it fucking <laughs> Ali tackled him down and bit him. It's, but this was a nice little entertainment fight. Little, you know... You know, go get your popcorn, get your beer, beer refills, or, you know. But like I said, David Price is a, a star in Liverpool, so this was a, a – the crowd's going crazy, you know. For me in the States here, this is probably – the. Uh, like I said, even I I want to watch this fight because David Price, you know, is like, really? Um, but it's kind of like a – Back in the day, the uh, the midget wrestling, you know, you know that was the fight. You go get your berry fills, your peanuts, you know. That's what David Price is right now. But he's still, like I said, he's still a great draw. Just hopefully, I like I said, I think sometimes I wonder if he is he just too big. Can he can his body function past a certain amount of limit? Like I know. He was an athlete, and uh, he did the gold medals and all that stuff. But as he getting older, can his body physically perform that long? He's just a big motherfucker, you know, because I had a iguana. And the doctors are like, I took him to the vet. The doctors are like, your iguana should be dead. He's too fucking big. You know, what do you feed him? I'm like, oh, vitamins and letters and shit. They're like, that's what's happened. He's Because his arms... He, he, before him and my iguana died, his his forward arms he stopped moving. He started losing. He stopped. Basically, he was getting. He got too damn big, and the blood couldn't flow through his body. Couldn't function properly. I'm wondering, is this motherfucker David Price too big, where his lungs and cardio just eventually he just it could only go so much for him. It's weird. The winner between David Allen and Lucas Brown? Why not? Fucking David Shazor. This fool is a star. I know he's a star over in Liverpool. And he, can, he has at least three more big fights in him. The Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Mr. A! <laughs> um, for you new viewers, this is the Double RT Boxing Show. Stands for the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I hope you do subscribe. Just do not subscribe right now. Go watch 
uh, previous episodes, more post-fight reactions, p- breakdowns, predictions, Mr. A's thoughts. We grab topics. We go in our own little world. We, we change the screen. We go live once in a while. So, again, and our lingo for what we do on the show is we talk best versus the best. And what, you know, that lingo on this show, best versus the best, is number one through 15. So, they People might call them bums right here. Us boxing junkies. You hear the siren. The siren is the, the call of the boxing junkies. So best versus the best. You know, number nine versus number 13. We'll cover that fight. But hopefully I'm a one-man show. I might have to work, you know. But I'm trying to cover all those type of fights. And and when we talk about the champ, the champ is the champ. So one through 15 is the best versus the best. That's what this show here is about. We, we, we talk about uh, the belts because usually the belts – Get you to climb that ladder, enter the continental, inter, uh, the international, the silvers, the diamonds. You know, I'm over here covering the British lightweights. You know, I like I'm a boxing junkie. I hear the siren all the time. Thank you for your time and support. Again, go watch some more. And for those who are subscribed already, support your show. Hit that thumbs up.